Hello, class of uh, 2023 at UB School of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences. My name is uh, Frank Petrantoni. I am the Pharmacy Operations Manager here in the Buffalo Division for Wegmans Pharmacy. I am a 2003 graduate of uh, the University of Buffalo School of Pharmacy. I was part of the All Farm D class, uh, the first All Farm D class. And I am a 2007 graduate of the University of Buffalo School of Business Professional MBA program. Um, I had great experiences when I was at UB uh, for the course of my pharmacy career. It helped me to prepare through coursework and through um, rotation work to really be prepared to work as a pharmacist. So over the course of the last uh, 10 plus years, uh, I've had the fortune, I've fortunately been able to work as a preceptor to students from multiple colleges, uh, but it's always great to connect with students from UB. And uh, what I'm hoping to do today is share the experience of a longitudinal rotation uh, with uh, at, at here at Wegmans Pharmacy with me. So I'm going to follow along in sequence with some slides that I generally present. So a few things about Wegmans Pharmacy. You've probably been in our stores. Uh, we're the number one volume pharmacy in the United States for prescriptions filled per store. Uh, we have 90 plus pharmacies in six states. We're often ranked very best in service. We had uh, JD Power has awarded us three years in a row for uh, best in service for supermarket pharmacies. Uh, we have 10 locations here in the Buffalo area, uh, many close to campus. And from a technology standpoint, we're, we're an innovator that's often on the cutting edge. We have a support center that takes most of our phone calls and we have a central fill facility that fills roughly half of our prescriptions off site. But the emphasis of my discussion today is to really talk about meeting some needs that are out in the community. The first one is namely around vaccinations. Um, if you have a, um, a rotation that takes place during the course of the fall, or we don't know what's gonna happen with COVID yet, we're one of the leaders in community vaccinations in the area. Uh, prior to 2014, this was largely a dying industry in the area that was, um, that was taken care of by a couple of nursing agencies. Uh, we turned the market on its head and we've become the largest provider of community flu shots within Western New York. So we sponsor over 200 events each year where we go out to employers, community organizations, or senior living. Um, and we generally uh, administer over 10,000 flu shots outside the four walls of our stores out in the community. We changed this industry by doing a couple of things. Uh, number one is providing outstanding service. Number two is having a really wide open insurance network. And number three was providing the best, um, best selection of vaccines for people out there. We know nowadays there's senior vaccine, egg-free vaccine, and different types of vaccine. And with that, we led one of the responses for COVID vaccine. I myself served on the Vax WNY hub for the COVID vaccine rollout here in Western New York. Uh, we set up large-scale clinics in all of our cafes through the course of the spring. And uh, we've had walk-in service for um, all three different COVID vaccines. And we intend to be very active with uh, administering COVID vaccines. This uh, possibly this winter or next spring, if boosters do become a reality for certain individuals. The other piece that I wanted to talk about was biometric screenings. And uh, part of this uh, longitudinal rotation is we go out to employers and we administer uh, CLIA wave blood tests, meaning a small blood droplet for cholesterol tests, uh, glucose tests, and we take height, weight, BMI, and blood pressure. And these tests are an awareness builder so that employers can educate their employees on the benefits of a healthy lifestyle. We know that one of the highest areas of medical spend in the United States is cardiovascular disease and diabetes, and minimizing the risk and taking steps further upstream and getting patients connected with primary care is one of the vital components for eventually uh, avoiding a heart attack. For many employers, a heart attack represents almost $30,000 in healthcare spend. So there's two components here. There's the economic component where uh, a company obviously has to meet a bottom line, the second component is caring for people, meaning that how do we make interventions further upstream so that father can walk their child down the aisle for a wedding? And we've heard that many times and we've seen many instances where we've helped people make changes further upstream. So again, we perform screenings out at employers that are part of a wellness package. And uh, we have contracts with all three major insurers in Western New York. And uh, we've administered over 10,000 of these screenings uh, over the course of the past year. 
So with that, my time wraps up. I invite you to please ask me any questions. My contact info will be given by the university. We've been told many times this is one of the most boring rotations that really is out of the box. That is a great learning experience. And uh, I hope that you'll apply and uh, we'll have some further conversation about this. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.